Hello and welcome to a quick video. I want to show you something and um, in the past I've watched the Apex Office Hours for 21.2 and there was a section about the changes to the universal task list and uh, there was something that caught my eye that I didn't even know was possible in Apex and um, this is um, these small inline pop-ups here that uh, come when a button is pressed and you can uh, change some values here, uh, some media changes. I think it's uh, quite neat for, for things like this where you can, uh, where you don't want to uh, make a whole pop-up thingy and it's, it looks pretty clean to me. So I wanted to find out how it works and I also thought that it maybe be a new feature from 21.2. But I actually found out that uh, this is uh, in Apex for a long time. And it's uh, yeah strange because I never noticed that it was possible and uh, Googling about it, um, there's not much in the internet about it. So maybe you also don't know how this works. So yeah, this is actually longer in Apex. This is here in uh, older Apex version. I think it's uh, 19.2, yeah, 19.2. And you can see here, this also works for all the versions. But um, let's find out how this works. So first off, let's go to, to an empty page here. And um, I'm gonna yeah, create a region on it, put a button in the region, yeah, new. I have to give it a static ID. So let's go, go with button just. And yeah, we also need this pop-up layer. So I'm gonna create another region. And on the position, I'm gonna put it into the uh, dialogues and drawers region. Um, and on the template, we have to go to inline pop-up. Um, let's put um, an item in here. So just a text field and see how it works. Now first let us, let us name this inline pop-up region. Yeah. So we get a button here and oh yeah, I forgot. We actually have to set what's doing on click. So in the dynamic action, I'm gonna say open region um, where, yeah, we have to go to region and then we can select the region we want. So let's go with the line pop-up region. And this is, yeah, you, first of your normal pop-up and it's, it's not like the cool thing I showed you before. So to achieve that, we have to make some changes. First off, we're gonna go back to the templates and here we can make uh, some changes. So for example, we go auto hide, we, we move uh, padding, we move page overlay and display pop-up callout. And we set the size to none. So we, we actually check every box here and set the size to none. And go back again. Yeah, it's very small. Actually, the scroll bar, what's, what's going on here? I think we have to actually not uh, remove the padding. Uh, yeah, that's better. And it's still in the middle and not really aligned to the um, to the button here. So what we can do here is um, this is a bit bit uh, yeah custom. So it's not really like here you have a, a box to take. You have to go to the custom attributes. And then we're gonna add here data parent element equals parenthesis. And then we have to put the jQuery selector to the button we want to attach this pop-up to. So I'm gonna put a hash here because we're gonna uh, go to an ID. And I gave the button the ID of button. Let's try that again click here and yeah, you can see it, it's working. It's actually strange that, that this uh, border is here, but I don't know why. So 
So what I want to show you next is how we can make it uh, change the position of the pop-up dynamically. So I created a, a small cards region here with employee data and we have the name and under it we have the salary here and um, maybe the CEO wants to go ahead on a on a uh, saving spree and decrease everyone's salary and it would be cool if we had a button here with this pop-up and if he clicks it for every employee then he can change the salary and yeah for that we, we need to actually change the position of the pop-up because if I click on this one I need it here if I click on Loris I need the pop-up here and uh, that's a little bit tricky and custom but I still want to show you it so first off we need to add a an actual button for the cards region. Um, so I'm gonna go to actions, create an action. Um, wow, what's going on here? Unexpected end of JSON input. Um, so it's now it works. Go to button label, edit salary, and um, Um, we now um, need to set a link and um, yeah, this is a little bit tricky because we, we can only redirect to something else. There's no, no uh, thing here as uh, called dynamic action unfortunately, but we can actually use the um, actions API um, to, to quickly call some JavaScript from each button. and. Um, it works like this, we go to redirect to URL and here we can, instead of defining a real URL, we put hash for actually an ID and we can then put action in here and then we put a dollar sign and set the name of the action, we call it edit salary and we can put param parameters here. So we want to pass the ID of the employee. So we can set a new parameter called ID and set it to the um, ID of the current record. So the cards region has a column ID and I'm gonna reference it here with the uh, and and dot symbol. And um, we can pass another parameter and we also pass the salary itself we want to change. Okay, so it looks kind of scary, but again, here we say we want to call an action. This is the name of our action, and we have two parameters, ID and salary. If we now look at how this works, mm, gonna inspect the button, and let me make it bigger. We can actually see here that we have this link and the ID and the salary itself are really um, supplemented by Apex. So we have the real values here. If I'm gonna click here, it says, yeah, no such action added salary. That's because we have to define it first. So we're gonna go to the page here onto the execute JavaScript on page load. And um, we are gonna do something when uh, the page loaded so uh, when theme 42 is ready um, I'm gonna paste the code also in the comments so you can copy it there and we can then call the apex api apex actions dot add and we've gonna put an array in here and this array is containing an object and we put the name here. The name is the one we put here, edit salary. Um, we also put a label here. This actually doesn't do anything, but uh, I, or I don't know where it actually is used, but I call it the same. And then we are gonna put an action attribute. This is a function, so a JavaScript function that is called and here we have three parameters. So we have the event that's triggered when the click happens, the element, this is the button we clicked on, and we put arguments, these are the ID and salary we defined 
on the link here. So ID and cell. Um, so we get that. And let's store the ID first in um, in a page item. So we can use it later for the update statement. We, we want to change the salary of the employee we clicked on and not a random one. So we have to store the ID. So I'm gonna put a page item here. P3 cell change ID, I call it. And let's also first create the new drawer, the salary pop-up. Again, a template inline pop-up. This time not check remove body padding, size to none. And we also gonna give it a static ID, salary pop-up. Okay. Mm. Go back to the JavaScript code. And um, now no, let's actually first uh, also put the page item here. So P3 salary is a number field. Change salary. So now go back to the action. And we can call apex items punct set uh, P3 cell change. No, uh, yeah. So I'll change ID. This is uh, the item that stores the ID of the employee, and we can we want to set the value to the one we passed. So args dot ID. Again, that's just how we called it here, and the other one is cell. And we also gonna call that for the salary item p3 um, salary punt set value dot cell can also uh, lock all of these things and let's put it in an object so it's easier to distinguish okay and um, yeah let's first test this out so I'm gonna click on Loris um, and we get the event, the button here, it's actually on the span. Um, and we get ID4 and here salaries 4,500, uh, 5,440. So this works. So we now want to open the pop-up. Um, we could also do it in JavaScript, but um, it's easier with the dynamic action. So let's just trigger a dynamic action when we set this ID item here. Um, so dynamic action, change, um, change item, the uh, cell change ID. So this gets triggered after we, we fetched the ID and click the button. We want to open region, uh, let's close open region, region, Salary pop up. So again, if we click here, we actually get this nice pop up and we get actually the, the salary that's matching for the employee. And you can see here on top um, the ID actually changes. But I should think we should uh, hide this item because um, nobody needs to see this. So hidden and not protected. Okay, so yeah, the next thing should be to, to add this property um, um, this uh, data um, parent element on here. But again, we don't have a single element. So um, this needs to be dynamic. To make it work dynamically, we actually first off have to put something in there. So I'm gonna put the same thing in there we did before for a different element. So for the, um, for the uh, button here, so data parameter 
parent element equals button and um, again then it's wrong first but we gotta change that so how we do change that and this is now a little bit strange and custom um, first off we're gonna give these each button a, a id so we go here back to the link and here link attributes we say id equals um, cell button and then the id yeah let's check again so this button has an id and this one has a different one because it's dynamically um, uses the id and um, now we have that we can go back to the action and we're gonna um, change the anchor of the pop-up so let's first get the jquery element of the pop-up and for that um, so it's where we want to attach the pop-up to so the button so we're gonna go to our button cell button i called it that way or did i yeah and then the id so args.id and then now this is a little bit tricky we go to our pop-up region so this is this year and we gave it a static id salary pop-up and we're gonna grab that region first with jquery and then copy a data attribute on it and it's apex pop-up and let's quickly do that uh, test that out in the console so we have here this is our pop-up region so basically this region and if we look into this data attribute apex pop-up we can see a few things so um, um, so here's for example the element of it and um, we have an options attribute here and there is a, a few things for, for example here this parent element is the button we set and uh, position off is actually the jquery of that button and we need to change these things now um, so let's go to this temp and we say uh, position I'm gonna actually copy that that I don't make any mistake so we say temp position two dollar is our pop-up anchor so the button actually um, we're gonna set this options parent element here to to the ID of the button again and now that this position of I showed you this is the really a jquery element so not the id actually the the uh, oh, i have a typo in here um, so the computed jquery element yeah um, now that we changed it let's test it out wow it works so yeah, this is something that happens a few times that it's a little bit off. Um, it only happens sometimes, but enough so that we actually do some some uh, things here and fix that. And um, so this set value is the one that triggers a demo action. And we, we're gonna uh, put a little set timeout here to um, delay the open of the of the region for 100 milliseconds it's small delay it's barely noticeable but uh, 
I noticed that um, uh, the, the position is uh, not off anymore. So it always matches. Yeah, also, okay, not always. <laughs> um, I think it's when it's on the top, it sometimes uh, is not so good. But um, yeah, that's how jQuery does something internally, can something, can't do something about it. So let's actually do the last part, actually update the um, salary. Again, we go to the salary pop-up region, gonna add a, a button here, update salary, put a nice icon here, and on press, create a demo action. Um, first off, we want to uh, run the DML code, so pill SQL here, and we update uh, the table. It's called mgrid. Let's open it. Uh, set salary equals to p3 salary, and where id is our id change item. So validation successful. Now important, we also have to set items to submit. So uh, salary and so change ID, so both we used here. And let's also um, close the region afterwards. So um, yeah, this button wouldn't actually change, uh, close the pop-up, so we do have to do it manually also. So we say close region the salary pop-up and to see that uh, the update actually worked let's refresh the grid region uh, the cards region and if I made no mistake let's update Salome's salary to 999 refresh and yeah Salome's salary is now decreased great so yeah, this part was uh, a bit tricky. Um, thing is also, I don't know if um, if this is really future proof. So we're gonna uh, we change something here in the internals of jQuery. So it's not really a documented API, but um, yeah, the result is pretty nice, I think. So you have to figure out yourself if you want to actually use it. Thanks for, for tuning in and I hope um, you found this, this video inform yeah, uh, informative. <laughs> Bye.